All right. Hey, guys. Uh, welcome to Clueless Critics. Also known as Void. Also here with my co-host. Uh, Kyle Guillory. Hey, everybody. How's it going? Yeah. And we also don't have anybody else here. Uh, it's just mm -hmm. the two of us. <laughs> just the two of us just the two of us i'm uh, kidding uh due to the announcement podcast that we had we recorded yesterday uh we already went over the fact that we we might have be losing some of our previous episodes so we're just like you know what in light of that and since he was on our first ever podcast episode as a guest we decided to just invite him like like literally like two hours <laughs> ago he is the man no you're the lying man. it was like 20 minutes ago so it's, hey, it's hey, even hey. worse hey dude we were prepared. don't give you that shit yep yep exactly hey, i'm not even drunk right yeah. i was here. trying to give him a, a freaking intro <laughs> calling man the myth of legend and he's like nah okay i'm good i'm uh, just gonna just gonna talk some shit <laughs> Oh. Yeah, welcome, welcome back to the show, Constantine Barrett, also known yep. as Kanba Art. Uh, I'm so excited to be here. <clears throat> don't lie to them. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, so basically, we're gonna just start it off again as we usually do. Uh, did, what were you guys? What did you guys watch? Anything? Do you guys have anything to recommend to us, to our dear listeners this week? What do you got? Uh, I watched The Defenders, but I wouldn't recommend that, to be honest. Oh, oh why what not, is... dude? Uh, the Defenders, yeah. that's basically the uh, Netflix show. Of Marvel, right? right? No? My... I don't even know where they're from. Like, Daredevil, Luke Cage, Phantom yeah, Marvel. Iron Fist. Yeah, oh, yeah, Iron. that is Marvel, right. Yeah. yeah so is you... Jessica Jones and everything? Yep. You said yeah, it's well, bad? I mean, it's not great, but you know, it's, it's like okay. It's man, that's true. <laughs> can can I get that trill one more time? One more time. For the, for the, for the... Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. So I mean, it's honestly so like, it's not. So it's like it's just in the middle. It's not bad, yeah, it's, but it's just like eh. Yeah, exactly. It's like nothing good about it. To be honest. Hmm, like, okay. okay. So it's not in that me... so bad territory. You want to watch it just for the last. Yeah, it's thing. yeah, it's not death not levels. To be honest, it's like okay. Right. De I'm sorry. What did you say? <laughs> death, death Note. Wait, the yeah, the movie. The, the, the right? Yeah, the, the live, live action. action. I did yeah. not watch that off principle <laughs> because I looked at that actor no, and I was like, like, "This is not going to be great." <laughs> yeah. Did you, you watch it? it? Yeah, yeah, I did. You have to watch it. It's like as a comedy or a parody, you know. It's like that's how <laughs> yeah. it makes sense. Like, what is what is the worst part of that part of that whole show or movie I, honestly, or whatever it is? It's like, it's Death Light. Note? Yeah. yeah. Oh, the new remake. the main character. Oh. Yeah, yeah, Light is like a fucking idiot. That's it. Yeah, and uh, this uh, a player of mine because you know I coach baseball mm -hmm. um, described it to me as a uh, light is basically doing it to impress the girl whereas light in the from the show or the manga is yeah. he's doing it for what he views as a greater purpose yeah yeah and, the, yeah. and right? he literally used the girl for the greater purpose it was the other right way around. yeah he was much more <sighs> you know he was much more of a simp. conspirator yeah yeah, yeah. They, they didn't yeah, yeah. they didn't they didn't keep that same feel of him being the mastermind behind what's going yeah. on, it was more so he's just along for the ride, right? Yeah. So That's... in the like in in the manga and the anime, he's like a manipulative piece of shit, like intelligent, yeah, as well, right? Yeah. But when you watch like this, Death Note, he's like a you know, sorry for my like French, but he's a fuckboy. boy. That's it. Oh, like, really? Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. I don't know. It's not so great. That's, how yeah, do you make one smart. of the greatest anime protagonists? Uh, yeah. It's. Uh, I mean, the length of the movie doesn't help, right? They try to. How long is fit it? Fit like two. It's ninety minutes, I think. One hour forty-five. Oh no! Or something like that. yeah. This is the same. So it's like, this, yeah. Yeah. I will say this. I think that the one good thing about <clears> it is, 
it's introducing people who don't know what Death Note is into the series. Like people who would never watch an anime or yeah. read manga. You know, that like I, I have I have one player that I coach as well who he's just no interest in any of that stuff, but he was like, Oh man, I watched it. I loved it. I've watched it four times. I'm laughing on the inside, but I'm Jesus. like, okay, that's great, man. Now you need really? to re- watch yeah. the original. <laughs> watch or read the I was original. Like, it's I was so like, much man, better. you like this? I was like, you like this? All right, dude, get into the show. Get into the manga. What, well, I didn't say manga because then he's. I know he's not going to check it out. Yeah. But I, all right, dude, you need to watch the show. It's on Netflix. Watch he's so that show. much better. What? Yeah. I don't... Uh, Okay, I was about to make the argument of bad adaptations probably turn people off, as in, as in the case of uh, the Avatar that shall not be named. Um, no, that's oh, great. no, it was great. Dude. What are you talking about? Bro, the second I'm not, one's coming I'm out. Not, I'm not talking about the James Cameron version, dude. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, I know. My, no, it's the uh, lesser <laughs> bender. Yeah, yeah. My, my dad still swears by that movie as it was great, better than this show, everything. I, Your dad is legitimately dumb. No, he just you know, he just likes yeah. the he likes special effects more than he likes animated things. It okay, hurts. wait, 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 wait. Is he the type of person? That, this is gonna tell me how your dad is. Is your does da- he like your, Transformers? Yes, I was about to ask that question. Does he <laughs> like Transformers? He liked everyone up until oh, this God. one. Oh, up until the most recent one. <clears throat> oh, he, even even on this one, we. At, it, it, it was so bad. I mean, this is old news now. I, you guys already know. But yeah. it was so bad up to the point where even he was like, all right, this this was terrible. But, you know, let's let's make let's make this day fun anyways. And, you know, we went and uh, got a cookie cake and and wanted to write I am Optimus Prime with the icing on it, you know. But it, it was it was pretty it was pretty terrible. And uh, even he recognized that. Yeah, that that's bad. When your movie is so bad that people try to make it better by inducing sugar comas, you've you've made a yep. bad movie. Yep. Yeah. He, the fact the fact that your dad the fact that your dad likes <laughs> the, <laughs> he likes the scene where the, a whole day na- the whole Earth Nation breaks out and does that whole choreographed dance to move that pebble. Oh no! He likes that. <laughs> oh no! Can we like? Not because it's causing like some PTSD in me. <laughs> oh, I don't no. want to relive this memory. You know, <laughs> give you a PTSD. As a, as an aside to to just bask in the glory of this show, this movie that was made. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of like a Broadway play that happened to be put on to onto into the theaters. Like just that, you talking that, about? that little scene in, in Avatar, Oh yeah. that last no, airbender. No. Okay. It reminds me of like <laughs> something you'd see on on a stage as opposed to in the theaters. Like Yeah. Except badly oh. done. But I'll move on. Re- uh, recommendations. I, was, I, was... I, I yeah, did go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Oh. I did finish He's making Yeah, Kyle, he's <clears throat> making the second one. Shaya Malamalam. Wait, what? Wait. Yeah, there's another one coming. No, no, like that. no, yeah, no, there, no, no, the, no, there are rumors that he's making the second one. Yeah. Emily, uh, please, spare us. <laughs> he needs he he needs to stick to horror. I, I think honestly, as much as I didn't like the visit, he does a good job with horror movies. I think. I mean, it's not hard to do like a horror movie because like half the screen is black, so yeah, you know, not much to film, I guess. I also wow. I also feel like <laughs> I also feel like he just does better with darker. Or just like less, I don't know, something that has to do something that's not right or supernatural and stuff. Because didn't he also do the uh, did one devil. about the mind? No, he did that one with the mind one, didn't he? The guy with like the split personalities. Uh, are you talking about identity? Identity, yeah. Didn't he do that one? I don't think so. Maybe he did. Maybe he did. I, heard, I don't, I don't I heard, think so. I heard people say that was all right. Let me actually look that up. Identity is actually us really up. good. If you're talking about the one where uh, there, there are like five or six people in the mind of a that one uh, dude, a serial killer, or yeah, uh, if that, no, if it was that's a recent one, one. Oh, okay. Oh, he's like this guy. Oh, like... oh, yeah. That's not identity. I don't think the one I'm thinking of is an older movie. Yeah, 2003. Where... Yeah, James Mangold. That is actually really good. 
I, I really like that movie. I watched it a, quite a bit as a young boy. Yeah. But uh, so anyways, during I, the I Cold did, War. Hey, you're right. You're right. Cold <laughs> War. So, you know, I I told you I told you last week about uh, Good Morning Call that that Japanese drama that I'm, wa- oh, I'm watching. Okay. That. So, yeah. you know how I told you there was another one I was watching that was like more serious and, and good cin- cinematography and everything, right? Mm. Well, yeah, yeah. Uh, that one is called Million Yen Women. All right. Terrible title, but very good show. All right. Okay. I finished it. It's only 13 episodes, I think, or 12. Man, it is really good. I mm. really liked it. It's on Netflix. It's awesome. Mm. It's great. And, uh, it has a, this one actress named uh, Re, Rila Fuku. I don't know something. Uh, I'll 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 look her up later. Maybe put her, uh, send her to her Instagram to you guys or something. But she was in the Wolverine uh, as the you know the redhead the redhead chick who who went around with him. Like, yeah. To you know that. I think I think she was Katana in that, or she's Katana in the show Arrow, but she was in that with Wolverine, mm-hmm. and uh, man, she's so cool, and she's in that show A Million Yen Women. Oh, um, yeah, she's she's awesome. Like, uh, you know, she has all kinds of great like model shots that are really mm-hmm. good reference. That I've been using recently to study from and everything, and uh, mm-hmm. Definitely nice. recommend finding yourself a model you like looking at, you know, and then taking, you uh, know, yes. using yeah, I look at, yeah, I look in the mirror plenty, plenty of times. Yeah, yeah, I get that. Mirror breaks, I try that. You know. I hate both of you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, Marin, I know, I, I know that was a snide joke about how you think you look good, but I'm not gonna let that slide. <laughs> Wait, why? No. Why both of you? Is it because I because said you I agreed. <laughs> you were like, yeah. Hey man, got hey, gotta give him a little props, dude. Hey, hey, good looking dude, man. ladies. Ladies, they're both uh, single. Uh, <laughs> you could probably both find them on Tinder. Uh, I love how you you say we're both single. Like that leaves you out of the mix. Like what? Um, yeah, I'm yeah, married to, wants I'm, to, I'm, so I'm, yeah, I'm married. I'm married to the game, dude. Oh, okay. I got you. So, anyways, like, uh, <laughs> missed the kind of. What do you? What have you been up to, dude? Like, uh, I've been seeing you post stuff recently, but are you working uh, primarily on like portfolio stuff? Have you been getting commissions? What have you been doing? Uh, it's. Um, I've talked to some guys from MyLM, Industrial Light and Magic, the guys that did Star Wars and shit like that. Yeah, big oh, name nice. drop. Everybody knows who that is. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna like say who I've been talking to, but I've got some good, like, good advice and maybe, you know, they told me I want to apply and shit like that, so we'll hey, see. That's, that's awesome. That's, that's really awesome. good. So, for now, yeah, like, I have maybe like 15 paintings I'm working on at the same time, which I've never done, but it's fun. Oh, yeah. really? Besides that, yeah, I'm just doing, like, you saw the sketches on Instagram and shit like that. So. All with, are these all with like a singular uh, goal in mind? Like they're they're all related for your portfolio uh, or? Yeah, some of them are for for a story that I'm working on, and some of them are just like one offs, I guess. Okay. But, yeah. Okay. And I've okay. been studying film a lot, like doing film oh. studies. Yeah, yeah oh, that's I smart. Love that. That's really smart. So yeah, that's that was fun. Nice. Any specifically, uh, or is this like... Yeah, I think I've done like 10 studies of Blade Runner. Ooh. Oh, wow. Yeah, are, you getting, are you on a, on, a, on, a, on a, you know, other note, uh, are you going to watch... I'm, I'm, you're, I'm assuming you're going to watch the new one. How you feel? Uh, how you feeling about that new one, dude? I mean, this is a I question mean, I hope for it's going to be good, but yeah, I'm not sure, to be honest. It's oh, really? Like, I'm kind of hyped, but... Uh, We'll see. I I I feel like yeah. I trust Harrison Ford. Harrison Ford, because he said said I'm pretty sure he said Blade Runner was one of his favorite projects to work on. And I don't think he'd get back on it if he looked at the script and was like, "Hey, this is not what." No, (laughs) you know. (laughs) I I feel like feel like Harrison Ford's one of those type of people 
due to his personality that if he doesn't like a script, he's like, nah, no. Wait, when did when it. does this come out? It's in a month, I think. Okay. Yeah. Have y'all have y'all heard something about the story? Is this why y'all are kind of iffy about it, or what? No, I just wanted to see if he was gonna watch it. Uh, I mean, yeah, of course I will, but you know, I'm I'm not. Yeah, I'm very interested on in watching the first one, and evidently there was like a short that they put out. Uh, okay. that that's supposed to be a prequel to the second movie that's like free on the internet. I think you can okay. like Google it and look at it. it's like thirty minutes, I believe. Um, and. Okay. I really, I really just sort of, you guys might have just given me like something to look forward to. Uh, can I give you another uh, recommendation, Angry, just for you? Yeah, sure. Uh, or Kyle as well. Just for you, old, or Kyle as well. Old, yeah. Or Kyle as well. <laughs> old boy. Look old at boy? that. I think, I think if, I, if I'm remembering it right, old boy. Uh, it's yeah, Korean. Yeah. Oh God! You know, it's, a... it's funny you say that. You know the the. Did you see Guardians of the Galaxy two? Yep. Okay, you know the the Asian chick who who has like the little tentacles on the front of her head. Yeah, yeah, yeah antennas yeah. and and she uh you know she under she feels your emotions by touching you or whatever. Mm-hmm. She's mm-hmm. in that. I think she's yeah. in that. In old, old boy. boy. Yeah. Oh really? I think. Is she the daughter character? I don't know. I don't know, but I, the only reason I know this is because I was looking at, uh, you know, my, my local Comic Cons, um, their their guest list from this year. So it already happened. She was mm-hmm. on it, and it tells you what they've been in, and that that was it. Mm-hmm. That was the extent of it. Because you know, I'm looking, I'm trying to get into going to cons like, oh, me to too. sell stuff, and I just happened to see that. But anyways, keep going. So what about Old Boy? Okay, so Old Boy probably has the best villain of all time. In my opinion, uh, and probably I th- if I remember right, this came out in two thousand three. I remember seeing watching this in like two thousand thirteen or whatever. Watch the original mm-hmm. Korean version. The English, the American version is not it's not the same. It's just not the same. Um, I will say, especially if you're looking at fight scenes and like, it has probably one of the best, most iconic fight scene where it's all like one take. And then these characters are all coming after the main protagonist and just basically it's where a lot of like Daredevil get got its fight scenes from. Like the you can see Netflix the Netflix show? The Netflix Daredevil, yeah. <clears throat> I think oh, okay. I've seen some of the fight scenes from that. Yes. Watch the so movie. Is Daredevil good? Oh the Daredevil yeah, Netflix good. show is good. Yeah. yeah. It's probably oh, one of the most man. liked one. Okay, I always stay away from uh, superhero TV shows. It, it's just a pet peeve of mine because they, they're usually really bad. But yeah, I, I, for whatever yeah. reason. I Yeah, well, budget, I think, most yeah. of the time. And uh, they usually get uh, actors no one knows about. And mm-hmm. that's not always a bad thing. But some most time it can be. Mm-hmm. You know? I, I Like, Indeed. I tried to watch Arrow once. Arrow, and that was too cheesy for me, so I stopped. I feel yeah, like, and, and Arrow was one of the better ones, to be honest. Yeah, that's that's crazy. Then people used to love uh, old, not school. Was it what was it? Ville, somethingville, Smallville. There we go. Yeah, I think they did. People, people used to love that show. I never got into it, but I was interested in it. Um, but another one, I I thought I thought it was cheesy when it came out, man. I oh just, really? Yeah, it's. Mm. Uh, there's just something about live action TV shows, superhero TV shows that just kind of usually well, doesn't that, go well. Yeah. It has to have the production budget of freaking Game of Thrones before it's like, okay, I can get, I can get behind it, right? Yeah, that's true. Man, that, I, it, I can't imagine what that would be like. Good. <laughs> I, I'm yeah, yeah, true. Sure. I mean, it depends on the AP, right? Like they have to. Get something that's like mature, like eighteen plus. For, oh, for just do, a, do an adaption Deadpool? of Watchmen. Oh, Watchmen! Yeah, Watchmen would work. Yeah. Deadpool would just yeah. be funny, but I don't know if I don't know if I could go in to like a long form show of Deadpool. I feel like us movies are really good for him because you know, I feel like after a while, like the the whole shtick gets. They're better. Yeah. yeah. 
I feel like that's, that's well, the problem think... with his solo comics. Mm. Yeah. I was yeah. going to talk about Iron Fist. It's like mm. you watch that a couple of like a couple of episodes. Like okay, okay, it's 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 all right. I can get behind it, right? And then he yeah. keeps repeating the same fucking line over and over. I'm the defender of Kong Lan, the Iron Fist. Like every fucking minute, and it's like shut the fuck up. Like how Jesus much? Christ. How much of how much of that is the actor, and how much of that is like Thor? It's like the writing. I I don't. It's it's both, I guess, because he makes like a certain like facial expression when he says that, and you want to just fucking blast his face in. Like, it's fucking annoying. <laughs> so, oh, it sounds like some uh, I, some like terrible one-liner from an anime or something. That yeah, character it's repeats like, all the time. Like right before he does his super move, mm-hmm. which is the Iron Fist. Uh, Ross and Gun. <laughs> I think, okay, so I remember watching the show initially and being like, it's all right, right? And be like, yeah. like, keep watching it. But then I think somebody else pointed it out to me. He was like, it's a kung fu thing, right? Why is the, like, it's fighting central, right? Why is the mm-hmm. choreography not as good as Daredevil? Yeah. Wow. Wow. That's and, like another thing. He's like he has the iron fist, right? And he's just like three times yeah. in the fucking the entire series. Yeah. And it's like yeah, yeah. what's what's the point of it? Spoiler Not alert? A... Question mark. Yeah, it's not really a spoiler, it's just you know. We didn't tell you where it is. It's yeah. in okay. the first episode. He uses all three. I mean it's that it's is, his yeah, yeah, it's okay. his superpower, right? He's supposed to use it all the time, but he's not so, uh, maybe sort of, it costs so much like it are there a lot of special effects surrounding like when he uses it no they just make just, his hand glow yeah that's Aww. it well i mean does he like blast an enemy like through walls no, and just destroy he, I mean, the yeah he does the punch environment people, like yeah he like is it like a one punch like, man type of thing basically oh well then it costs a lot of money obviously that's why they only used it three times i also feel like the Iron Fist is like I don't know. I haven't read really read the comics. I heard he has some decent stories. Mm. Um, yeah, in the comics, but, but not 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 here. <laughs> yeah, I feel like the whole idea of him having to wrestle with being the actual leader of a conglomerate or whatever, and also this kung fu B B A right is well, like he's basically a shitty Batman to be honest. It? Yeah, it it feels like that, but I feel like they from what I've seen of the comics is that they actually deal with like the interaction between him being uh, actually running a business and how that affects his superhero life more than Batman ever really does. Yeah. Right. Which makes the interesting part where it's like, Oh, socioeconomic and all that crap. But in the show, it just feels like not only did they make one of his big things about his story, like boring on, on the, on the superhero side, they made like the normal stuff, which is easy to get boring, boring. <laughs> like you're you're zero for two, bro. Like the two things that make him interesting, you you, you effed up. What? Why? Why? Hmm. We we trusted you with Daredevil. You made Daredevil good after that horrible 2001 film or whatever. No, the movie was great. Come on. Was hey. Great? You know, I thought it was the greatest thing, dude. I was like <laughs> ten when that came out, man. It was yeah, and I was probably just getting born, right? <laughs> oh, you're funny. <laughs> I was like, six. now I'm ten years older than you guys. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> I said I was like six, dude. I did. I didn't lie. Wow, when did you that... definitely lied. <laughs> I just turned thirty, apparently, guys. <laughs> Oh, no. yeah, man. Sorry. It's, Hell yeah. It's, it's, all right. good, it's, it's good to see you turn half a century old. What? Yep. What's the... <laughs> hey, I look forward to that day, honestly. 50? Uh, yeah. Not, not looking... I'm not... I'm not looking for the Netflix one internet. I'm looking for the original movie with okay, good old so, Ben Affleck. So, have you played any other games than League of Legends recently? Uh... Yeah, I played Hellblade. 2003. Oh, how was it? Yeah, right? No, oh, it's fucking amazing, dude. It's great. It's okay. is, like... is that the Senua's one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah dude. Um, it's it's weird as shit, but it's great. I feel so like... even though even though it was short, like and condensed, like the story was yeah, it yeah. was well thought out and everything. Like yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I, yeah. I saw I saw they did you know when they went through the whole they showed the whole development. 
mm. how the the director of the game he spoke with like actual like psycho psychologist to yeah like to further one of the, the story main, like when you start the game like the main he's the first person, person. Like, yeah the first person nice. you see is like the name of the psychiatrist oh wow that's so it's cool like, I, yeah pretty heavy for a double a title that's very interesting i feel like you could really play with that like there's there could be some really interesting gameplay things for that where it's like at first, you think it's supernatural, but then you get to the, like... It makes you always guess, right? Because when, when I first saw the game and I was looking at it, I'm like, okay, this is some supernatural stuff. But then I was like, wait, she could just be, like, really tripping. Like, yeah. this could just be historical fiction, not, like, fantasy. Like, she could just be imagining all of this as a way to, like, cope with the loss. Also, yeah, yeah like, besides that, there's always, like, voices talking to her, right? Mm -hmm. describing what's around you and like where you should go and sometimes they fuck with you like they start mm. telling you run 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 and there's nothing behind you so like mm. it's always like a bit of a fuckery wow okay. I love stories like yeah. that I, I love I love the parts where you'll be fighting and then <laughs> you have half of the voices being like yo you effing suck dude stop and the other side's like kill him you got this and you're just like you're just in the back of your head, just like you shut up, please, just shut up. Yeah, what they say behind you, but there's no one there, and it's like an attack coming from the front. It's like you know, what yeah. do you trust? What's real? What's not? It's like that's you know. awesome. There's a there's a couple um, movies that that I've watched on Netflix that are a lot like that, and there's one uh, called I am the pretty I am the pretty thing that lives in the walls, or lives oh. in the house, lives in the house. I mean, and. Uh -huh. uh, that one, that one's a little more vague. Like it's, it's kind of, it, it's kind of hard to follow sometimes. But it's a lot. It's very similar to that. And then another one mm -hmm. is with uh, Kate Beckinsale, and it's called The Disappointments Room. And that one I watched recently. Oh, it's actually okay. really good. You know, it does the same type of thing where, you know, it, it it makes you think that there's something going on in and going on in the house, like supernatural wise, mm -hmm. but because the main character has a history of psychological problems, like ah. you, you never really know if like if, this is really happening or she's insane. Yeah, exactly. I love stories like that. And to put that yeah. in a video game, that probably makes it even Honestly, more yeah, it makes it. Yeah. It makes much more immersive because if you watch a movie, you're like you don't have the same relationship yeah. to the character, right? Right. So, mm -hmm. And when you're actually playing it, you're the one interacting with the environment. So it's like much more, you know, like powerful when I've, someone is fucking with you, for example. There are some interesting right. scenes I've seen because I haven't played the game, but I've seen it. And I'm like, I sort of low key want to just buy it and play it for myself. Yeah, so I yeah, stop at a certain yeah, point. Should. But you but should. there's an opening. <laughs> I, I was watching the first 30 minutes or so, or maybe in the first hour or whatever. And. Mm -hmm. Basically, at one point, it sort of hints at, like, maybe you, the player, because she, like, breaks the fourth wall and, like, talks, looks at the, directly at the camera and then talks. Like, it seems like yeah. talking to you. So, I mean, in my head, I'm like, are, is the player one of the voices? Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Are they setting I that up? Yeah, I think that's, like, kind of one of the things. Um, They didn't really, like, tell you that you're one of the voices, but it's kind of implied, like, mm -hmm. throughout the game. Oh, so it's yeah, like interesting. You're at the same time the player and like part of the story. So it's a bit, you know. Oh man, I can't. W I would. W I would love for them to like really like, because in my head I'm thinking, I know there's some interesting like gameplay stuff you could really mess with if this was like a triple A like. Like I feel like this this as a double A game is like a great proof of concept. Yeah, like, I think some. Mm -hmm. Many more things like this was gonna come out, like oh. decent budget, but you know, not indie. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. It's kind of cool. Cause I would, yeah, I would I mean, love to see this really fleshed out. Cause you could get, imagine like if, oh, imagine if, imagine if Kojima <laughs> did something like that. Oh, well, I mean, you wonder what. Well, that uh, that one thing he had teased at. That uh, with, uh, the stranding, whatever yeah. that is, with Guillermo. The stranding, I mean, yeah, it, yeah. it feels like it might be something like along those lines, like not not specifically the same scenario where you know the yeah. the psychological problems with you know whatever her past and everything, but it, it could be something that 
is a little more abstract like that where you you don't quite know what's going on because I feel like that happens that happens a, a lot in um yeah uh, Res- I was thinking Resident Evil 7 had a little bit of that but not really mm. um, did y'all play that like, uh, yeah no I didn't I just watched that later on but okay to the psychological thing like maybe if you go back to Silent Hill for for the PlayStation like the first Bro. ones Silent Hills would have been lit. Yeah, like if you like they're you make them, yeah. they literally were the dumbest. Like how I'm like trying to think. Uh, like I'm still reeling over that business decision of like not doing what Kojima wanted. Because I'm like, okay, man, you do understand this man put out a demo, a playable teaser that yeah, literally people want to have shit. Yeah. That literally influenced gaming horror after it, like. Yep. Literally, you can have like a one to one be like, this is inspired by PT. Resident you're telling Evil me. 7. <laughs> you're telling me the man who did that, the man who made a boss fight that read your freaking card, memory card, and told you which games that you, you played due to the information saved that would F with your mind. <sighs> Can't oh, one make an a individual good level? Wait, Kojima? Like, wait, that wait, that was in the that that was, that was in, in the... no no that was in Metal Gear. That was an old oh. Metal Gear Solid game for PS2 or PS1. I yeah, believe. It's Metal Gear and like three, maybe? Yeah, no. and one of the boss fights, he would like be the boss would be fighting and then he'd read your memory card and be like, Oh, so you like oh, so you like to play Madden, huh? <laughs> and like he'd be making jokes about the things you like and you're play and like imagine a te- like a twelve 13 year old playing a game and just hearing the things that he plays like oh oh Freaking i feel out. very uncomfortable <laughs> skynet voice skynet oh yeah no joke holy cow and you're That's... telling me him and guillermo wouldn't have made the most flames horror <laughs> video game of all time with my man Daryl. Oh my goodness. You, you might as well bring Yoko Taro into it. Like the guy Yo. that made Bayonetta, right? Fam. Oh. Yeah, it's like, let's fucking go. <laughs> go in. Bruh. Speaking of the Bayonetta, expect- have you... Right. Okay, just real quick. The the movie. Did you, did you ever watch that? There was a movie? Oh, the anim- uh, animated? The animated. Yeah, the animated. Oh, I, was, I was very sad for a moment. I was like imagining <laughs> a live action movie. No. Like oh, Angelina no. Jolie. And I was like, why? Did oh, calm movies? down. She's not. No. <laughs> yeah, she's a bit too old. Yeah, at this point now. Um, no, it, it's it's not bad. But I it made me want to see the games because I'd never, I'd never played them. You know, there's, you know how um, bad that is? Yeah. When I trust what? an ad- adaptation of a video game made as a cartoon versus an adaptation made as a movie. Oh, <laughs> well, I mean, obviously. I-, I mean, the Devil May Cry ones were terrible compared to the game, but yeah, I don't know. I have you seen the Netflix? I think it's fine. The Netflix uh, animated, the anime that's not an anime, that's basically based off of Castlevania. That a yeah. lot of people are saying. I, I like. thought you were about to say Castlevania. It's actually amazing. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, it's really good. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so it's, it's only got so four much. episodes right now, but and it's the weird thing is like I live near the castle, right? Like where Vlad oh. and shit. So oh, I've been yeah. to that place, yeah. And like hearing the like the names of the fucking places in there, like the villages and shit, I'm like Jesus Christ, that's weird. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, Wait, those what are the fuck? those are real places? Yeah, they are. That's crazy, dude. Oh, dude, <laughs> it's weird. Was... It's it's like whenever you see see a movie placed in Virginia or Texas, and then you start hearing cities and places that you've like heard and or been to, and you're like, "Oh, that's that's a bit disconcerting." <laughs> you know, that's a good point. I was like uh, recently because I've been I've been writing a lot more, and the the story I'm working on right now, I was contemplating whether or not I put you know my city in like as the origin of the characters, and I was like, you know, that'd be kind of dumb. But then, you know, if you're saying that, then I, I'd freak out a lot of people who live around here. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, that's what they Yeah, exactly. If someone knows it, it's like, Jesus. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it man, makes it feel a lot, the... especially if it's accurate. Right. Like when it's when it's like an accurate portrayal and you're like, oh, this may, like, it makes, from 
when it's like, especially if it's a book, it makes your imagining of it a lot more real because you're like, okay, I can imagine the city. I can imagine like this is where they're probably hanging out at, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it, it, it definitely, it, it would work for the people who been there or live there. Mm-hmm. But I, the only reason I, I was kind of iffy about it is because, you know, it would, it would alienate a lot of people who weren't there, you know? They, well, how I much mean, more I, than when it's in a fantasy world? <laughs> true, like, true, true, yeah. And then I, I guess it would kind of add to the fact, like, he just told us uh, about, you know, him living near that. Well, mm-hmm. and, you know, now we know we're like, oh, wait, that's real? Like, what? <laughs> you know, maybe, maybe it would, it, it, it would have empire. that same effect. Yeah, I'm related to Dry Club, dude. Yep. Oh, dang. That. It so, makes so much sense about his countenance. I, I <laughs> might be, to countenance? be honest. <laughs> was, that, was that intended? Yes. Oh, How he gosh. interacts with people. Oh, oh if he's no. shit, you're gonna die. <laughs> okay, so, quick question. Have you ever been there? Yeah. Is it... Just walked it, around? Is it pretty, like, amazing? Like... Uh, I mean, it's kind of like half ruined now, but yeah, it's uh, it has that like fucking energy because the dude used to impale people there, right? Oh, that's a way God. to drive people away. So I'm telling you, it explains <laughs> yeah. so much of my angry. He just grew up there, then he's like, <laughs> he's angry would be the way he is. <laughs> mm. No, it, yeah, it was a great trip there. I was like 12, I think. Oh wow! Uh, yeah, it was nice. Cool. Yeah. That'd be nice. that'd definitely be awesome. Like if you if you were to use any elements like that in in your portfolio or anything you work on in the future, you could easily just Bruh. go yeah, right just, there. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. very much want to see you draw castles now. That would be great. <laughs> what if it's just like because you went and saw it when you're 12? It's just ingrained in your head, and it, and you just make these like that's what you're meant to do. Castles, <laughs> Jesus Christ, just, or just like gothic lore and stuff. Just. Uh. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean the the art from uh, the series Castlevania, the games and everything. Oh, it's you know, I I looked up. Yeah, I looked it Especially up music, after too. I watched it. Yeah, it's really. I mean, it's technically not the greatest anymore. You know, just because yeah things things change and technology get better or whatever. Right. Well, and also information shared and people study more and all that stuff. But <clears throat> it's it's really. It's, I don't know. It's still really interesting. Like it's got a, a lot of that uh, Baroque type of influence, or mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. like Art Nouveau ish type of feeling. You know, yeah, like a, oh, I, which I like a lot. So, so that's a ranking endorsement. <laughs> what? Uh, go watch the the Castlevania. Uh, Castlevania. Castlevania. Oh yeah. Definitely. I've, I've, I've watched some <laughs> clips of it and I'm like, yes. Especially with the fight scenes, I'm like, yes. Yeah. Yes, thank you for existing and giving me hope. Um, I. That's an interesting topic. Anime that is an anime. <laughs> and how that's... I feel I mean, like in the next couple years, that's going to be... Yeah, non-existent thing. I think that kind of yeah. already... That, that was more back when avatar last yeah, airbender was that Airbender. like yeah yeah that was so, more like it's it's on the cusp of like looking like anime but it's not like quite there it's still has yeah the it still feels look. western stuff yeah well there's okay do you want to get into this argument that might split our viewership or what do you consider western stuff that looks like anime anime uh, I mean, it's all okay if you think about it. It's the definition, all the same. It's in the all definition the same. in Japan, anime is just animation. Animation, they use SpongeBob exactly. As it's, anime, exactly. It's all the same. It's all the Americans same. Americans visual are, the guys are like, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. The, like all okay. If you think about animation as a whole, it's mm-hmm. all just simplified representations of real life, real right? Life. Yes. So if if we're in Japan. Everybody has a certain look because it, you know it's, that's where they're at in the world. They're representing their people. Obviously, or, it's going to have a certain look, or, like or their art influence or whatever, right? Right, their art influence, like they're they're choosing to. Or I mean, it all starts with uh, who 
uh, who were we talking about the other day? The guy who did the Mighty Adam. To, yeah, Tezuka. Like, it all started with him. So And he got it from he, Disney. So, like... <laughs> he got it from Disney. So, yeah, like, his his stuff had more rounded... Like, he had the rounder heads, the, the mm-hmm. soft bodies, big eyes. And and then it slowly morphs into the sharp chins, the, the, po- the more angled things, angled eyes, you know, all that there stuff. There is like, a chart that shows the evolution of, like anime design from like right. 80s onwards yeah it's it's just all that is man it's just a it's just a different way to I represent re- reality that's all it is i welcome it it's it's basically giving legitimacy to something that we've most of us have already knew known is pretty dope <laughs> but right. the rest of the world's like oh oh this is this isn't just for kids <laughs> yeah. yeah i think that that part of it is what I would like to see seep into our society over here. Like in, in the West is Mm -hmm. that idea of, which it already has, you know, I like my whole family now, my whole family watches anime. They're watching Hunter X Hunter. I'm freaking stoked because that is one of my favorite (laughs) series ever. That is like that. Yeah. Like seeing, seeing people who typically in the past would look down on adults watching stuff are mm-hmm. now you know they're the either possibly they're either old now, enough to either, be grandparents watching yeah. you know they're like either that, now that, the adults watching it because they were kids before or they've like started to actually see like oh there's like actual value in this exactly. as like a show um like uh i don't know if any of you have watched the voltron i think that's also netflix i started it a little bit I think it's made by the same people that made the that made Avatar, if I remember right. Um, Maybe so. I, it has that similar look, and so Even like closer to Avatar than it does something like Castlevania. True, um, and I, I evidently the, I'm hearing great things about that. So I think Netflix is on the right track here. Um, mm-hmm. I, I I really want to see more. I just really want to see more of this just because I feel like anime's influence has been in America since like the two thousands, but it's like been hidden. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, Just on like the way sometimes like characters react or like how stories unfold a bit. Like there's some references, but now it's just straight up like, Hey, let's just, uh, let's just do this art style. (laughs) <laughs> right i i i think uh in in the art world specifically it's it's also nice to see the different ways people bend these styles mm. like mm. like you know you <clears throat> like angry. people who sure <laughs> i i guess yeah i, I don't know I how you can, yeah. how can you animate in an environment i don't know uh, like because no. <laughs> was... they don't that's more shade than i was throwing he's like, he's like only <laughs> Wait, no, I mean, because look, an- anime usually typically has realistic uh, environments with animated characters, usually. Yes. So, I, I mean, I feel like maybe the colors. I feel like most of the time it's more saturated. Right, you know what's saturated, funny? Saturated, yeah. You know what's funny is that that's definitely something that started with Disney because they, mm. they're they've always had these really extravagant, realistic backgrounds, and like, look mm. at any classic Disney movie. They're always really nice. Or just go look up Nathan yeah, Fox. Really nice hand painted backgrounds. Like mm. what? Go look up what? Uh, Nathan Fox. Oh yeah, yeah. Of yeah they it's, actually it's... I was looking at some videos and they basically just have like like the background like they have like this sometimes they just have the this watercolor artist do the backgrounds for anime shows and they just sort of put it in. Like they yeah. tell him, here's the scenes we need. Just paint them in watercolor. And he's just like there's, traditionally just do it and then just put it out. There's actually they animate a, it on uh, on it, right? And there's actually a thing I I'd, I'd seen a while back oh, as to why that was important to an, mm-hmm. to animation in general is is it allows people to have have uh, an environment they're used to. So they they mm. they're it's easier for them to be immersed, right? Mm. Whereas if they were to see some like crazy environment which i still think works it it might throw that off like even though it doesn't like if everything's cartoony right because it it makes it more whimsical 
right? That's what, but, and it helps with the tone for things like Steven Universe, right? Because if you look at the right. background of Steven Universe, it's like, oh, this is definitely a cartoon. Samurai Jack. Oh, my God. Mm. Yeah. I love Samurai Jack. Samurai Jack is like, oh, I need to watch the new. I only watched a couple seasons of that new one. Have you watched the new I season have, of Good Old I Samurai? Not. I have not. I watched like five episodes, I think. Dude. Is it worth it? Yes. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> They didn't. They didn't. It's. It's. The animation's even better. Honestly, like. I mean, duh. <laughs> it has. It fucking has to be better, right? Oh man! After after this long, yeah. oh. It better. I, isn't this this? Isn't this the last season of it? Sadly, isn't this what like this is the end of his story or whatever? Uh, I don't know about that. Wait, they brought yeah. it back just to end it. End it. Basically. <laughs> You know that kind of reminds me, and this this actually peeves me a little bit is the oh. is the way Game of Thrones is is being handled. Like, okay, only oh, it's all it's only thing? yeah six six months to two years or something, but it's definitely yeah. going to be closer to two years. Like, yeah. why why that's a little more easy to digest than however long Samurai Jack's been. But mm-hmm. why bring it back after all this time just to? Just to show, like, give people a taste, you know, <laughs> like why, why not, why not capitalize on the hype, you know, and and really try to continue the thing. I mean, maybe maybe the guy who cr- uh, came up with the idea, the creator, or whatever, maybe he wants yeah. to move on to other things, which yeah. I, I would assume that's probably what it is. That's fine, th- probably. Uh, another thing I think that is going to happen in the next two years is that. Uh, George Martin is going to finish his book, right? The last one. Mm-hmm. It's so, going to be interesting how the endings differ. Yeah. That's how be really cool. Yeah, that's the first thing. And then the other thing is that the hype is still going to be there because mm. of the book, right? So instead Ooh. of the series next... Yeah, instead of the series next year, we'll get the book. And then in another year, we'll get the series again. Mm. So like, maybe that's what they're thinking. Yeah, that's okay. true. Okay, I see. That's smart. That's actually low key intelligent of George, because he was like, "It takes forever for me to write these books. So what if in between this one and this next book, which is supposed to be the last one, right? Yeah. Uh, if this is the last book, in between that time, I just have a TV show that runs that's really popular, get, brings the hype back. I just recoup those uh, book sales. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> smart. Yeah, that's really yeah. smart. You know, um, so yeah, double down on the same thing. Right, like uh, Destiny Two was released recently, and you know they they have their console release like the a few days oh, ago. Ugh, Destiny Two. But yeah. right, whatever. <laughs> um, a month from now is their PC release, and I and I and I told one of my friends who's like really excited for it. I was like, okay, well, let me know at the end of the month how much you're still playing the game. Yeah. Whether or not you're, because he wants to get it on the console and PC. I was like, all right, let's Why? see if you're actually interested to <laughs> play it on PC after. I, you know, whatever. I had, so, I got. Okay, so here's but, here's but my look, story with. I'm this not. I'm not done. I'm not done. Okay. So go ahead. the Sorry. reason that it's going to work is because okay. they have the day one release. Yeah. Then they're releasing the raid and their their trials of Osiris new type of thing, which is trials of the nine. The next week, then the, a week after that, they're releasing a strike and some other thing, and then a the week after that, another strike. So they're they're so it's spacing out. Yeah, they're piecemealing it so that they can keep people interested up to their PC release, and people still are playing the game on console. So the people who are going to buy it on PC aren't looking at the console players and being like, "Oh yeah, this game died out after a week." You know, they're going to look and see people still playing throughout the month, right? <sighs> So that that's a, I, I think that's smart, but I you know my that's thing is okay, hard. it is yeah it is so my thing is well let's see what happens after this month you know when PC is released how how much people are still playing you know I'm just curious I whether or not it'll work out I literally got the beta code because I was in somebody's stream and I got it on PS4 and so I played it and I was. I was low key hyped just because, mostly because of the fact that I got a beta stream, and I never get those, and I got in, so I downloaded it. It's on my PS4. I'm playing it. Da 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 da, and I come to realize, I never played the original. 
I come to realize this is Borderlands, except without the personality, which makes Borderlands Borderlands. And like oh, wow. the most, the most interesting part of this whole game is the mul- M- the the multiplayer. But then I'm like, then what's the point? I could, there's like, so many multiplayer shooters that I could get, that are like this or better. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <sighs> it's. I mean, it's it's selling it's selling the same package with a different skin. Like you're you're taking the the shooter, like every <laughs> other shooter. The shooter and RPG. Then putting them in a different universe. Well, and so different visuals. Yeah. That you don't see. So the the reason why I, I think it doesn't work as well as it could is because it's first person. I think it would work better if it was third, simply because you're allowing mm-hmm. people to see the their character who they spent time customizing, customizing with all these yeah. different, yeah, all these different, uh, you know, armor options, everything. I feel like it works better for games that aren't, um, aren't, you know, sp- specifically like, uh, world of war type stuff, you know, like the, yeah, the call of duties, the battlefields, things that people have already seen, they don't need to see anymore. You know, your modern day, you know, like soldier, whereas like a, something mm. that's sci-fi, I feel like people are more interested in seeing that. And that, that I think that especially adds, with the leveling and the yeah. loot. If you're gonna have a loot system where they're wearing armor, I see your point. Why? Why are we in first person? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> why? Why are we doing this? I think another, uh, just another thing is the o- the only other shooter that I'm like, oh yeah, this is cool, was Titanfall, and. Uh, what was the other one? Doom, the new one. Mm-hmm. And the reason why yeah. Titanfall was fun was literally because it brought in the whole like I'm running on walls. This is feel, right. I feel like a badass because I'm running off walls, jumping down, shooting you, and keeping my momentum. Right, uh, and I I think that works for the when you're playing as the soldier, but when you by step yourself. into your Titan, well, when when you step into your Titan, I I feel like that would work better. When the, with the camera back a bit so you can see the mm. mech. I, that That's what yeah. I'm always... Whenever I play a game with mechs, I want to see the mech when I'm in the mech. True. So, True. you know... And uh, what was your other example? Um, Doom. Doom. Okay, Doom you can't change because it's been first person forever. Like, yeah. Right? Like, but and also, like... But the thing that made Doom so great is there's sort of like a flow state rhythm that you get into. Like you're playing mm-hmm. Guitar Hero except killing demons. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh yeah, and it yeah, it just it would be weird if it was third person, honestly. Yeah, it wouldn't feel as visceral. Yeah. Um. Uh. Yeah, that's about it. That's about it. I don't. I don't think. I. Don't, I think the shooter genre is very tough to. It's tough to break into, because Borderlands. The reason why it's great is because it's basically gun porn mixed with humorous writing. Hmm. And then. The rest is just like, yeah, we're we're shooting things. Like, we've oversaturated this genre. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, every uh, don't. I think every genre is kind of saturated at this point. Honestly, like, it, as as soon as there's a a genre discovered, I mean, yeah. we've all experienced the one of the more recent ones with MOBAs. Like that happened what like five, ten years ago. MOBAs zombies. actually more like. It uh, about five years ago is when everybody started building zombies, one, making right? one. Zombies. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. And now well, and then you get what what was that that more recent game? I think it it's PUBG? not No. Oh, oh man. PUBG, oh, yeah. Man, the, PUBG. The, the, the arena the arena shooters, yeah. Oh I'm starting my to gosh. see those. Then that's before... actually that's mm-hmm. that's interesting though. The the way they, they did it is you're contr- like everyone's controlling their zombie. Versus a small squad of people like that's I think that's interesting. Mm. I mean, it, it, it's about, PUBG. Talking about PUBG. PUBG. Oh, everybody's zombies. controlling the everybody. So, oh, zombies. Zombies PUBG? on PUBG. Yes. Oh, I don't really watch them. That's not inter- interesting to me, but I get it. Yeah. Everybody's it, controlling a zombie. Right. I mean that that game's that game's got already got enough uh, in like. Enough, enough to offer in the base game itself. Like, mm-hmm. you know, you know, people already love it. Like, you know, they're already, they're already, there's already an esport community for it and everything. Like, yeah. competitive scene, right? 
Probably my favorite yeah, series. Fastest growing game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my big time. Favorite video game series to watch on YouTube is just people like a group of streamers that I enjoy that are funny that have a good rapport playing PUBG and like doing tricks on, on bikes off hills and then getting headshotted in the middle of the air. It's great. It's oh, a great yeah, game. Awesome. It's a decent. It's a decently great game. Um, yeah, Which, I don't. I don't know. You know what's actually interesting? I I didn't know this, but you know, I'd asked friends who, um, you know, aren't so deep in the whole game dev thing, and I asked them, "Oh yeah, who?" Because they told me about the game, they're, and they're like, "Oh yeah, this guy made it," and I was like, "Oh, this guy made it by himself?" I was like, "No way!" I looked it up. Of course not. The guy didn't make it by himself. No. It's a Korean Korean developer. <laughs> no. With uh, this one guy is the you know the game and, director. But, uh, yeah, he was like really yeah. good at a different arena shooter, and he was like, "Let's make the arena shooter that people actually like." Yeah, which I I think I think uh, as people were saying, it's it's getting more possible to have less people on a team and make a really good game. But yeah, um, you know, it's still not there yet for certain things. But I, it, it what's really interesting is the team that that worked on the game. They also made I think Terra. Terra or, Online. I think so. I think isn't so. that an MMO? Yeah. yeah it is. Yeah, because it's a Korean developer, so you know most. Oh, most I rem- remember the MMO boom, guys, back in our mm-hmm. middle school slash high school days. Oh, I, once once World of Warcraft came out, and everybody was like, "Hey, hey, Joanna, let's just uh, let's just waste our lives. Let's go. Waste, our, waste our lives trying to make an MMO that's supposed. Everybody said it's gonna kill, freaking, you know, World of Warcraft, but." Yeah, good luck. It's still going. World of Warcraft <laughs> is still here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Sadly. <laughs> oh, I remember my MMO kick. That was a lot of that was a lot of my time. So have wasted. have uh, have either of y'all been like trying to write at all? Because I know I know Constantine, you're you're trying it a while back. Like have you Oh have my you boys done that? In stories? Uh, well, yeah. I'm almost I almost finished the book. The story by who the hell is the writer? So basically, someone wrote a book about story. It's like five hundred pages long. Mm-hmm. So and I've, you're like adapting it. I, yeah, yeah. I've read that and it's pretty good. Mm-hmm. No, uh, oh, no, you're. This is a book about creating stories. Like you're. Yeah, just... it's, yeah. The anatomy of story, some of that. So Ooh, yeah, cool. that one helped me quite a lot. So I okay, probably need to buy that book. Um, Anatomy of story, huh? Who, who yeah. do you know who wrote it? Okay, yeah, let me find it and I, I'll tell you the name. Okay, okay. hit us with that link and that Discord, <laughs> or you can just yeah, tell sure. his name. I'll look it up. It's all good. Yep. I just need somebody to hit me with that link. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Robert right, McKee's yeah, yeah. story. One second. I'll Ooh, just send it to Void. Okay. Yeah. Laziness for the win. Thank you, dude. <laughs> okay, I so love... you, you read this, and have you started on anything, or that's all you, you've just been reading up? Uh, I'm mostly just, I'm not really writing. I'm just, like, doing sketches, so, like, mm. more like panels and storyboarding than okay. writing. Right. So that's been fun, but... It's like it's kind of uh, hard to be honest. Yo, <laughs> it really is. Yo, it I'm, really is. I love how all three of us have actually just started to write a story, this is sort of in comic book form. Because like we're all just like, ugh, <laughs> we have so much more respect for people, manga cause and comic book writers. Because you're just like, I've been like, oh, well, and just, people that write novels, like all. Oh, of, and novels. It's... There's people who write stories. You're just like, I don't know how you can keep going. Yeah, it, it's especially, really crazy. Especially when you have like characters that you're designing, and you're like, "Is this is this good? Is this?" Ugh. And you'll never uh, know until people talk shit about it, right? Basically, <laughs> until it gets shit on. It's it's yeah. so weird because like that's uh, there's been kind of like a evolution to a certain degree of how I've been trying to write and and work on designs and stuff. And it started the, the like that comic book way, you know, like a couple words here and there, and then mm-hmm. like 
maybe a sentence or two describing something, but now Mm -hmm. I'm like actually with that, you know, the whole word vomit thing, I I was talking, the word association thing we had been talking about last week. Uh, You know, after doing that, I've actually been like, I was just writing out like an outline and then it slowly became editing and then writing what actually happens. And now it's slowly becoming editing it again and then writing (laughs) like what, like the, the actual script. So yeah, it's, I don't know if it's like a good place to be, but you did say editing's a good thing. So I don't know. I've been like editing the crap out of just like the beginning of the story. (laughs) So I I, think I need to just continue and just mm -hmm. live with it. You You didn't shy to say that he reworked his story like 20 times. Yeah. I'm not surprised. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm there. I'm right there. I've been like, let, let's not even get into like the technical things of like drawing this out because I want to make this a comic. <laughs> but like, I'm like, I'm like going through and I'm like trying to get the story beats done. And I'm just like, I'm just sitting there looking at it like, I I think this is good. Like, yeah. like if you get into this like existential crisis and you're like, I've watched so many stories. I should be good at this. <laughs> like, but in the back of your head, you just have this voice in your head, like, "Wow, dude, this is trash, dog." You know. Eh. No, keep going. Keep going. Uh, no, 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 that was it. Dude. Oh, okay. it's just it's the struggle right now. Have y'all have y'all noticed? Like, th- this has been happening recently, and I'm and I'm like, okay, there needs to be more of this, like, mm-hmm. just to make sure I don't end up copying someone else. But I'll yeah. write something. Or like I'll have a, a character go through like a certain thing, and then I'll I'll look, and I'll be like, oh, that's from this. Yep. Like, yes. Oh. I'll be like, oh, this is. I'll be like, oh, this is Naruto. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Whoops. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. <laughs> this is yeah, Academia. yeah. Oh, yeah. Where man. your influences get just Everything. shown, and this you're is, like, oh, this yeah. doesn't feel. I mean, this doesn't it, feel unique. It's oh, it's okay if there's a ton of them, because then mm, it becomes yeah. something new. You know, like, which, but when it's yeah. one explicit, it's, like, oh. yeah. yeah, yeah, that's why I'm like, yeah. okay, if it goes too much in this one direction, it, I need to, I need to change it up, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. for me, it's like, oh, for fuck's sake, I just made Uncharted again. It's like, over <laughs> and over. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Hey, man. It's so funny, because, I mean, a while back, that's what you are you're doing a, a bunch of art based on that yeah, yeah, yeah a couple yeah, of paintings yeah, yeah. Hey, that, you make, know what that makes help sense with that dude <laughs> if you keep finding yourself doing uncharted take uncharted's things and then subverse it and then be like hey he's putting out like i don't know you know how like the main character is whatever confident or whatever mm-hmm. confident cocky just make him like a nervous wreck no, <laughs> this oh. is fucking stupid. i hate oh, this shit so much <laughs> When the main character is like a pussy, it's like, oh, god damn it, no. Yeah, hey, man, it, it, it is kind of annoying. I, no, well, you could do an interesting character growth by the end of the end of the story or whatever. He he does become that, you know? Yeah, that's true. Naruto, I mean, what? <laughs> no, yeah, but, Naruto was never a pussy. Yeah, he, he was, was not a pussy. Like, yeah, he was, <laughs> he was he, stupid. He pussy. was, he well, he wasn't. He wasn't. But there were there were certain things he was apprehensive about for sure. Like he yeah. definitely, definitely didn't start off badass. Or you could like legitimately give your hero character PTSD. I think it was interesting. Have you ever seen Rick and Morty? You've watched yeah, Rick and Morty. Yeah, yeah. Did you watch no, the haven't. rest and Rick Rick like relaxation? Relaxation. Yeah, yeah. The uh, or the, the the cleansing thing. Okay, so that scene after their adventure where they're just sit down and they're just like Crying. screaming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That makes sense because if you really think about it, all these characters are going through near life, de- near death experiences constantly. But for yeah. whatever reason, the next day they're eating a panini, like nothing happened. Like what? Nigga, you died almost five times yesterday. You should just be like bawling in the corner. Like, <sighs> like, like, I don't know. You could probably make something real there. Oh, uh, it feels like I feel like there's something there. You could, you yeah, could yeah. There. Obviously, like a solid backstory makes the character alive, right. I guess. Because mm-hmm. oh no, man, the writing guys. If you're writing stories, we feel you. 
If don't you, if just you... just stop painting. <laughs> Fuck stuff. I, I, just I will say on. this. I will say this. If you guys if you guys have um, a good portion of your story started, and mm. you know who the characters are in the story, mm. design your freaking characters like immediately, or else you'll just oh. be writing forever. Because I like. Yeah, I got, I got to a point where I was like, okay, I, I already knew who the characters were a while back. And I was like, mm. well, I need to start designing these guys. Yeah. And then and then I kept writing. And then I was like, wait, <laughs> you know what? Okay, I'm at like a save point. <laughs> let's hold off. And let's let's move things. on. Because, yeah, because, you know, like the, there's a thing with like manga – uh, creators like they like Shonen Jump, they they make something weekly, right? So mm-hmm. if you think about it, they're on the go writing, yeah, to constantly. a certain degree, like right. So they're not, they don't they might have, have everything pre done. Yeah, they right. might have an arc or two finished, but like they're also they have to constantly think about the arc after that, right? So like I, how I think this leads into this being oh yeah, I think being okay with uh like getting the thing start done so that you can move mm-hmm. on i think that's that's where i'm at and having to work on now so another I thing that, that i think is really something. important like in writing or stories in general is to have like a solid ending the ending is paramount no yeah, like knowing knowing what happens yeah, like at least an outline to what's going to happen in the end because if you don't it's just getting more and more convoluted right so you just start having like different fucking stories and like subplots and shit like that so you just It'll take you yourself. forever to tie everything nicely yeah, yeah, into a bow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, like have the. That's the that's the one thing I, I'm trying to think about right now is like you you're basically talking about having the goal of the character. Yeah, like okay. mm-hmm. your your Naruto's Hokage, your um, your One Piece become the Pirate King. You know all these all these things. So like, Hokage, yeah, got it. Right, you you need the you need the. What? You need the goal. What is that? What did you just say? <laughs> no, no. Oh. <laughs> but you need you need the goal. I feel like you just spoiled something because I still haven't finished the freaking no, story. Just, no, don't worry. I just said that Luffy has to become Hokage as well. It's always about Hokage. Oh, okay. Yeah. Luffy is just pirate Hokage. Yeah. Luffy's Luffy's pirate Hokage. Yeah. And then there's gonna be a crossover where they're just gonna spawn some clones and shit. You know, clones. I actually really hate those episodes and and shows. These crossover what? shows. No. <laughs> yes. I keep your I, world separate. I you know, and it, well, I don't like them because usually it spawns the arguments of who's stronger than who, and it's like, okay, I don't. Oh, that's care. always gonna happen. I, yeah, it, yeah, but it just makes it even more like out in the open. <laughs> like, I don't I feel... care if if Goku gets beat up by. Remember the little the little robot girl that he. Um, Ariel? It's from Dr. Slump. The Ariel? Yeah, I think Ariel. Yeah. She, you know, apparently she like beats him up and stuff when he's like older. And I'm like, man, this is so ridiculous. I mean, it's probably because like, you know, I guess I'm a Goku stan to a certain degree, you know, like. And you're like, this, this dude could destroy this, planets. <laughs> yeah. Why is he getting beat up by this little girl who's an android who's definitely not as strong? I mean, in the word in the words of Rick. Don't think about it. Don't think about it because it, here's the thing: <laughs> if y'all know anything about Doctor Slump, that was that was uh, Kira Toriyama's. That was his first or his one yeah. before uh, Dragon, Dragon Ball. Ball. And and it was it's meant to be one. exactly like it was meant to be comedy. a gag, pure pure comedy. So so he's supposed to get beat up by her, you know? Yeah. And uh, I. I guess that cross. I'm not. I'm okay with that crossover now. That I think about it. I like references, like subtle mm. references are cool, but like straight up, mm. you know, crossovers kind of. Yeah, cool. yeah. I, it's like a, a tip in the cap to him, like saying, "Hey." Yeah. Yeah. The thing I the thing I I don't like about Shonen's more than their crossovers is their movies. That like, oh that happened during the show because that aren't canon. Yeah, that, you're like yeah. You're like I'm looking at him and I'm like, wait, if he's doing this here, then what about what? <laughs> yeah, it's confusing. <laughs> I think that's when you have to kind of like separate the two, like just be okay, like like accept the fact that this is not a part of the story. Yeah, but the th- I guess. in in re- in regards to the the crossovers, I they work for DC and and mm. Marvel. 
because their their universes are built. Yeah, it's a universe. Yeah, at, yeah, it's a universe with the characters with you know within multiverse. That, like it's, yeah, yeah. They're they're all just respectively in their own zones, like yeah. doing their thing. But every once in a while, they come in and be like, "Oh yeah, hey, what's up? What's up, hey. Batman? I'm Superman." You know, it works. True, 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 true. It, they, that that's one of the biggest strengths of having like a continuity. Like this is happening over here. This is happening over here. We're following them, but th- also know in the back of your head that this character's story that I'm also covering somewhere else is actually happening at the same time. Right. So when you hear a reference on the TV of in the Batman show of Yo Superman was doing this, you're like, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> uh, there's one thing that I actually dislike about comics in general is the oh. different dimensions and shit. Like, oh, when they go like, yeah, it's just like go, this is multiverse number six one five. Yeah. What? Here, what? yeah, here, Spider Man doesn't exist, so it's like Spider Man. Oh. What the fuck? It's like, oh, oh. go fuck yourself. <laughs> oh, like Earth one is two type. Crap. Yeah, it's okay, like no, oh. no. It's in this it's, universe. Well, yeah, go ahead. It, it's when they're like what we've talked about before. Void is it's when they they come across the problem of oh wait we have nothing to write about anymore because we've already already developed this character and now it'll just be really episodic. So they have to either do the uh, they have to re start everything uh-huh. or or they just create another another universe I feel or like. or or the worst part is that uh, a lot especially for western comics comics since they have the whole multiverse right now i think the biggest problem they have is the event fatigue where it would be a big event that just leads into another big event that just leads into another big event that just leads until the point where events don't are don't feel like anything anymore right you feel me like I, how I think many the times best... get to save they are friend yeah or the multiverse right like yeah. oh the multiverse is like being created oh no the multiverse is being destroyed and all these different characters are together oh wait there's a civil war amongst the superheroes oh next we're going into the past of the new superheroes and we're meeting our old self dude you can't have a line wide do it like every month if it gets to a point where it's like it can we just have a moment where we're just following these characters please just stop uh you want the, you want the downtime yes it, it feels yeah. like events don't feel like anything anymore, you know? Yeah, yeah there like, is no build-up. It's just event after event usually, so that's oh, why wait. it's a word. So are we talking about Zack Snyder's movies? Is that what we're talking about? <laughs> uh, no, it's just like no, comics, comics and movies, everything in general. Just how yeah, no, like, I just had to, yeah. I had to, I had to, he said I had to just talk later. I just had to talk a little shit. I'm sorry. Hey, Zack <laughs> Snyder. Sorry. Hey, I'm sorry, hey, Zack on. Snyder. It's, it's, hey, a, I would I say that if he was here, I, man. I apologize for my I'm friend's words. I, hey, what he meant to say is, you're completely dog shit. I didn't say that. <laughs> oh, you said that. I said that. No, he's Even not. Shyamalan makes better movies. Shit. Oh, <laughs> shit. You didn't even say his name. Right. Comedic I value. know. It's Shaya Malamalam. Yes. yes, yes. Oh, <laughs> you know, Ditch. I I like things about their movies, both of them. It's just, yeah, just like you said, just, there's certain. Can I get a certain better things, screenwriter? There, there's well, there's certain things they choose to do and choose not to do, which is a lot like you know the the Transformer movies. It's the it's the lack of build up. All every moment is a moment. Type of thing. I mean, oh. not not. Shyamalan is not that, but uh, his Snyder and could we Michael get Bale. Guillermo to just somehow write for the Transformers? That'd be great. Wow. He did. He did Pacific Rim. Oh, he did. Oh, that's yes. yeah, yeah. He did. He made you know, a giant robot movie that was lit. You know, I think it's um, <laughs> the 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 thing is here is that it's the. The difference between movies and art, for example, is that we all know we suck at something. Yeah. I mean, I mean, we're we're either we all suck or we're pretty good at something, but we're bad at a lot of other things within yeah, the art world, specialist. right? Yeah. We have we have our 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 areas of expertise, mm-hmm. or we will have our areas of expertise. Uh, I think that it's okay that these guys aren't doing what everybody else is doing as a director you know i i True. like they have their thing they're good at and i'm cool with that i'd rather see i'd rather see michael bay make 
10 more of the movies he likes to make than <laughs> 10 more of like something you typically see. You I know? honestly I mean, don't think he can you... do anything other than the movies he likes no, to make. Let's, let's put like Michael Bay about? on a, like, on a family look... comedy, dude. Okay, you it's need to look great. at Michael Bay's early career stuff. Because he did, he did like your typical movie type thing, like, like written, like build up everything like an actual plot that mm. doesn't. Oh, have that's a so lot bad, weird... right? No, like he he started normal, so and then he just so you're he just went me... to boxing. He went to boxing matches afterwards. Oh, so you like so you're he telling bu- me he started out good and was corrupted. No, it was more like. <laughs> All right, I'll get here's my example. I'll say <clears throat> imagine if like Richard Schmid, you know who I mm-hmm. told you about Void, who yes, Constantine he didn't know about, all right? Jesus so, Christ. Get so out of my if, side, dude. If, Go so away. if Richard this is if Richard imagine if Richard Schmid <laughs> decided to add in a little bit of the, your your modern art into his stuff or or he can do anything abstract, but you know like if he just added a little bit more of the stuff that's not as technically sound, but a little more artsy, you know? So if he sprayed some shit on a canvas, okay, got it. And then he also <laughs> polished it up with a nice face in there or something. But yeah, it, it would be like that, which I think I like that stuff artistically. I like the in-betweens when someone uses... Experimentation, uh, yeah. Yeah, I, experimentation mm-hmm. in their stuff. I like that a lot. Yeah. But or they, then you're they, like, you respect the craft, they don't really respect the result, right? So there's like a difference in that. Well, yeah, but just like sitting, okay, as, as artists, we're definitely, we respect when someone's really good, but mm-hmm. yeah. the general the general public, they also do, do but yeah, they also do, but they, do, they really don't. Like, they'd rather mm, see something that, that speaks yeah. to them or tells them a story, right? True. And I, I think... I think that that's somewhere the that... geniuses the geniuses know how to do both. N- yeah, exactly. I yeah, and that's why I think you know sometimes movies like that, like Transformers, they're sacrificing story for visuals, which mm-hmm. is a little little overboard. But they like all it would take is them dropping that back a little bit and keeping it consistent, and then it, it would definitely do a lot better than it has. Yeah, just done. don't have Optimus Prime going out into space when I mean, throughout the whole movie he's been trying to be like, we need to get here quickly. How? Right. Oh, you can you can fly? You're a spaceship now? Okay. <laughs> okay, Optimus. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm the okay. like with the Transformers thing, the I think that that could work. He's bringing the uh, like how huge is the movie? Like a bit down. So mm. the difference between Avengers and Iron Man One, right? I yeah. like Iron Man much more than so it's like a concise story. It's like small and to the point, right? Mm. So it's not like fucking fifty characters doing like True. I don't fucking know. Like You gotta give yeah. it to Marvel. They know how to space it out when it comes to their big like their their group movies. You don't even need the introduction of the characters because they've already done two or three movies with those characters. Yeah, there's like there's a backstory, right? You know yeah. the characters really well. Like you're reinvested in them. Yeah. Yeah. They're taking a page yeah, out like, of com- like a good comic book spread, right? You have your yeah. you have your series that follow the main characters, and then you have the group, the 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 album. <laughs> yeah, basically, the f- where like fans just just their pants, right? Like the basically part of it, yeah. And then mm. in the in the when it comes to you know uh, the redhead, you you do actually just yep sure oh dang <laughs> sure man all right oh wow. uh, oh angry I'm sorry I'm uh, more I of a Downey Junior guy you know <clears throat> fair enough <laughs> fair enough who also likes redheads oh man I can dye my hair. <laughs> Yeah, you might have to, dude. Yep. Wait, why do you think he likes redheads? <laughs> he literally in the comic books his 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 first assistant Pepper is a redhead. Then he gets Mary Jane to be his new assistant. Hey, time out. He said Robert Downey Jr. He yeah, didn't say Tony. He didn't say Tony Stark. Oh, 
We're talking about the actor here, man. <laughs> All right. Okay. I mean that 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 was that was that was a good reference, but you know, not quite. Yeah, fuck you, boy. Basically. Oh. <laughs> I just, uh, it just happened. Just <laughs> That's gotta, why I was like, well, I, I don't know. Just gonna cute. just gonna For mute a second, him real I was... quick. Dang! I, for a second, like I was, I was actually like, "Wow, Robert Downey like, Jr. has a redhead wife." Like, what? Since no, when? No, I was talking about. I was thinking completely about Tony Stark. Man, because it, I, yeah. At first, I was like, "Damn, Void, what? That's crazy." He not only is he into into uh, Pepper Drugs. Potts, lady, and uh, and then you also have Black Widow in there who he never flirts with, but. You know, then he'd have a wife who's also redhead in real life. I was like, dang, man. That's crazy. He, get, he gets around. Angry, you're not muted, just so you know. I know, I know. But okay. I don't need to talk, right? Okay. Oh, wow. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah. Oh. He, he knows his place. Oh, <laughs> man. <laughs> I, know it's, I know it's your podcast, but, you know, careful. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I think I love this guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, I think I think we can wind down now. <laughs> uh, yeah, we, we've 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 uh, gone on for a pretty good amount of time. We, we, yeah, we wax poetical. I think this is a good episode. I think it was decent. I'm happy that I've had it. I'm happy that Conma's joined us. Yeah, thanks, one. dude, for coming on. Sorry for yeah, the thanks for the warning. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, sorry. About yeah, that. Well, hey man, well, just... next time we'll definitely we'll definitely be more. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's fine. All right. Oh, interestingly enough, ever the new recording software we're using uses Twitter. This is for our listeners. Um, so we are also technically doing live stuff. So if you're we, whenever we start recording, there's a live thing on our Twitter feeds of whoever the guest is or whatever. So um, if you want to join in. Follow us on Twitter. I'm Lavoid Art on Twitter. L E V O I D Art. Uh, no dots in between the name there. Uh, Kyle is at Fishkills. Mm-hmm. And if you want to follow Angry, because I all know we all know we do. Yeah. Uh, what is your is everything Conma Art? Yeah, you'll probably find it anyway. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Especially follow him on Twitter. He needs more followers. Uh, I don't use Twitter, so don't worry about it. Or you can just, Conma yeah. Underscore art. Or if you fall, want to follow him on Instagram where he's more, more popping, I think it's just at Conma art with no yeah. underscores or anything yep. like that. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Uh, thank you for joining in and listening. All right. Bye. Mm-hmm. Later, See everybody. You.